Japan's industry ministry will ask a group of experts to re-examine the safety of its plan to bury highly radioactive waste from nuclear power plants. Officials began selecting disposal sites in the year 2000. But there has been no progress amid public concerns about safety. The plan calls for burying nuclear waste in a stable stratum more than 300 meters underground. The plan's feasibility was based on a report compiled in 1999 by a government-affiliated organization. The ministry will set up a working group of experts as early as September to re-examine the plan's safety for the first time in 14 years. The ministry will ask academics to recommend experts with a neutral view. The experts will check whether an underground disposal facility will be able to store nuclear waste for a long period of time, even if earthquakes and crustal movements occur. They will use knowledge learned from the March 2011 quake and nuclear disaster. Government officials are grappling with another problem for the nuclear energy industry. They're debating how to dispose of high-level waste produced by power plants. The government enacted a law in 2000 to bury the waste hundreds of meters underground, but the plan stalled when people living near candidate burial sites opposed it. Top scientists recommended scrapping the policy. A panel of government experts has reopened discussion on the matter. Some want to press on with the plan, but only after informing the public about the options and asking local governments to cooperate. Others say it's time to think of new options. Officials will also discuss whether Japan should continue reprocessing spent nuclear waste or dispose of it directly. Participants in a U.N. disarmament conference have voiced negative opinions about Japan's plan to keep using nuclear fuel. They say it's a concern, especially after the 2011 accident in Fukushima. More than 70 government officials and experts from 16 countries are taking part in the three-day conference in Shizuoka City, central Japan. The second day of the meeting focused on nuclear security. A U.S. nuclear expert, Miles Pomper, questioned Japan's policy of pursuing nuclear fuel cycling even after the Fukushima accident. Moving forward with additional generation of plutonium for these reactors is just not very sensible. Pomper said the risk of a terrorist attack could go up if Japan has a large amount of unnecessary plutonium. Other participants said Japan and the U.S. must maintain their high-level nuclear technology because many developing countries want nuclear power. It's been almost two years since the disaster in Fukushima. The accident at the Daiichi power plant caused many to question the safety of atomic energy. It also drew attention to another complex issue, how to dispose of nuclear waste. The Fukushima plant suffered a string of meltdowns and hydrogen explosions. Workers struggled to keep reactors cool after the tsunami knocked out the electricity supply. But that wasn't the only problem. Right next to the reactors are pools that store spent nuclear fuel. The pools started to heat up after the power went down. Emergency crews had to pump in water to avoid a worst-case scenario, a meltdown of the fuel rods. Thousands of rods are stored at the Daiichi plant, and thousands more at plants around the country. They are the byproduct of half a century of atomic power generation. And it keeps piling up. Japan has 17,000 tons of spent nuclear fuel that needs to be disposed. NHK World's Yoichiro Osaki has been covering nuclear energy issues. He says developing suitable technology is not the only challenge. Japan's original plan was to recycle nuclear fuel, but technical problems have brought the project to a standstill. The reprocessing plant has never gone into operation. Nuclear waste remains toxic for tens of thousands of years. Keeping people and the environment safe for this length of time is a huge challenge. One idea is to bury the waste deep underground. 
Japan's government has backed this solution, as have many other countries. They say they have the technology to do this safely. Japan's plan for underground barrier has been on the drawing board for more than a decade. It would start by separating the waste into cylinders. The cylinders, 1.3 meters high and 70 centimeters in diameter, will be encased in concrete. The plan is to bury them 300 meters below the surface. They would be housed in a huge repository, the size of about 200 soccer stadiums. The problem is where to bury it. Local authorities would have to give their permission. Efforts to find a site began in the year 2000. The government had hoped. Strong incentives would encourage bids to host the facility. It has offered up to 2 billion yen in subsidies to any region that applies for a survey. But 11 years after launching the bidding process, not a single candidate has emerged. It's a similar story. In many other parts of the world, 30 countries and one region operate nuclear plants. Only two have decided where to build a long term disposal site. They are Finland and Sweden. The United States has the largest number of reactors. The Obama administration introduced a new disposal plan in January. But it won't be implemented until 2048, 35 years from now. The United States has the largest number of reactors. The Obama administration introduced a new disposal plan in January. But it won't be implemented until 2048, 35 years from now. Finding a place to safely store nuclear waste was never going to be easy. The accident at Fukushima has made it that much harder. This issue goes beyond whether Japan should abolish nuclear energy. Whatever the decision, this country and others have to deal with enormous amounts of waste and will have to do so. For many years to come. Science and technology experts in Japan want the government to rethink how it deals with the byproduct of atomic energy, nuclear waste. They argue against a current plan to store the waste deep underground for tens of thousands of years. They instead want it to be kept in temporary locations. Science Council of Japan President Takashi Onishi presented a proposal to Atomic Energy Commission Chair Shinsuke Kondo. The government asked the council in 2000. 2010 to review its disposal plan. The initial idea was to bury highly radioactive nuclear waste more than 300 meters underground. But opposition from people living near a candidate burial sites has deadlocked the plan. The Science Council's proposal says the public must agree on nuclear policies before disposal sites can be selected. Council members flag Japan's high seismic and volcanic activity. They say current technology can't predict which locations will remain stable for tens of thousands of years. So they suggest temporarily storing nuclear waste for decades to hundreds of years, either above or below ground. The scientists say technological development and public consensus should take place during that time.